This latest story is incredible. Whistleblower from the ICIG, which stands for the Intelligence Community Inspector General, in essence, the internal affairs for the U.S. intelligence community that analyzes breakdowns and corruption within the IC, two whistleblowers came out and indicated that during the 2015-2016 term that Hillary Clinton's emails and her server may have been hacked into by the Chinese, not exactly our friends on the international stage, ladies and gentlemen, and that the company, allegedly, according to the report and some of the sourcing in it, that the company may have been a Virginia-based firm that had connections to the Chinese intelligence community that had hacked into the emails. This is a devastating story. Listen, I'm not trying to dredge up the past. I'm being serious. I know I can be sarcastic, and sometimes we try to take a lighter edge on the show, but I'm being serious now. I, I'm not going to say broke this story because I don't want to sound like I'm patting myself on the back, but I had some quality sourcing on this a long time ago. Um, a very long time ago. Matter of fact, uh, I'm not sure if the article is even still up at Conservative Review where I originally wrote it, but about a year, man, no, it had to be, I was in Maryland actually when I heard about this. So this had to be almost three years ago. I had got wind that Hillary Clinton's server was most likely hacked into um, by foreign actors. So this is not a new story. But the story yesterday with the sourcing provides confirmation from people inside the intelligence community that in fact some of our that some of our email traffic from what at the time was the Secretary of State and Hillary Clinton was being intercepted by the Chinese. How are they doing it? What they were doing is they were sending her emails not only to the recipient who Hillary had emailed through her private server, but they were sending a copy of that email apparently to a company in Virginia that was integrated somehow with Chinese intelligence. Folks, this is an amazing story, and I don't mean amazing in a qualitatively good way. This is devastating. What the heck were the Clintons doing? Why have there been no substantive prosecutions in this case at all? The reason I think at this point is pretty obvious. Sadly, the DOJ and the FBI prioritized their time and assets in looking at Donald Trump and the Trump team for a collusion charge and a fairy tale X-Files case that never happened. Now, the, uh, the angle on this that I just want to take quickly before we move on to the next story. The ICIG, the Intelligence Community Inspector General, when they notified the FBI of potential intrusions into Hillary Clinton's email server, there's a critical point. The critical point, and this is who they told. According to the report in the Daily Caller, they told Peter Stroke. Peter Stroke, does that name ring a bell? You're like, Peter Stroke, Peter Stroke, who's Peter Stroke? Peter Stroke, the lead investigator in the Hillary Clinton case, who then moved on and prioritized his time as what? the lead investigator in the Trump team investigation for fantasy land collusion. Now does the uh, internal affairs, the, the inspector general's report, my, the Michael Horowitz inspector general report, the DOJ inspector general, not the ICIG. Now does that report make more sense? In that report, Michael Horowitz has stated that although he couldn't point to specific incidences of bias by Peter Stroke, again, the lead investigator in the Hillary case, case and the Trump case, although he couldn't point to specific instances of bias, he was very clear that he could not eliminate bias as a reason for prioritizing the Trump collusion investigation over the Clinton investigation. Folks, this makes no sense. This case was a slam dunk, the Clinton email case. They exchanged classified information. The server was hacked into. At one point, Mrs. Clinton on an email acknowledges the information's classified, and they scrapped the case to chase a bunch of ghosts in the Donald Trump case. This is unreal.